right then, everybody. It's seven o'clock, eight o'clock, excuse me. Um, we have um, Johnny Brower here with me, the infamous music promoter who was responsible for putting John Lennon and Yoko Ono on stage in Canada in 1969 for the very first time. Well, thanks a lot. That's how old I am, right? Okay. Yeah, but he's all right. He's all right. Uh, okay. He's, so, oh, so basically, wonderful. you guys have just have you guys have just entered the Fat Fine Arts Film Festival 2020 Awards Show, and um, we're very proud to be presenting awards to you, considering the situation of not being able to be next to each other. Um, as everybody knows, the Fine Arts Film Festival is a um, is a uh, festival that shows the best of films about art every year. This is our seventh year, and we're just going to get right into it. Um, we're going to start with the, be um, the best student film. Um, and excuse me if I read from notes here, but this 13-year-old filmmaker explores relationships with visual experimentation in this quirky, sentimental, delightful, yet ambiguous an animated film, which we all love. The characters try to do a little magic in order to fight for a peaceful and sweet life. Best student film goes to 100% Girl by director Chen Lian Yu from Taiwan. Congratulations. Right. Well, well done. So, uh, yeah, where anybody who wants to clap, feel free. We'll watch you clap. Uh, let's see. The next, uh, the next one up is um, um, Best Animated Film. Based on the original 1963 hit song, somebody's got their mic on, please turn it off. Based on the original 1963 hit song by the Surfaris, this film is a nostalgic look back at the early days of surf culture in California through the antics of a bleach blonde surfer named Surfer Joe. Nice. The best animated film goes to Surfer Joe, director Jim Keeshan of the United States. So, um, Osceola, I'm not sure how we're going to connect your speakers to my speakers, but I think if I, there's a way to do it. You're not hearing the audio? I'm not hearing the audio. It's coming out of your external speakers. I probably need to figure out how to share it, but I'm just going to move on. Um, the best, the next type, uh, category is best experimental film. The theme of this work is the liveliness of water as it follows the man-made course and a poetic combination of the sound and movement of plant and water. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. There you go. Okay, so I was in the middle of a technical ex exercise there. We've got John, Johnny's just, he's not technically adept, so we're just, you know, we've got a, a director, two directors, one remotely in Chinatown and one here. And um, the next type, the next uh, category we've got is best narrative short film. And guess what? For the first time in the history of the film festival, 
we have a tie. The first one is about a girl alone on the road, barefoot in the bitter cold. The girl, connecting with the mysterious world of her subconscious, faces loss, desperation, fear, and indifference and echo, amid echoes of her memories of family connections. The code is about pain that is unbearable, but which can, can be overcome, resulting in a haunting, artistic, and memorable film. Here, I'm working on it. I'm working on the muting. People are unmuting themselves. Don't unmute yourself. Okay, just do not unmute yourself. Please do not. Okay. All right, here we go. I think this is going to share. Sorry about that. Here we go. And the, the first film that wins best narrative short film is called The Coat. The director is Igor Nevedrov from the Russian Federation. And we um, congratulate you on tying for the best narrative short film. The next one is about when two feuding sisters return home to execute their late mother's will, they discover a plan to rewrite the story of her broken family and a woman refusing to be erased. This is my chance to begin again. What you thought you came for is only a shell. What you have arrived at has been there from the beginning. And the best narrative short film in the tie with the coat goes to The Cost of Bronze by director George Magner from the United Kingdom. Congratulations, George. Congratulations. Excellent work, George. Congratulations, e um, Igor. Uh, I really enjoyed both of those films. That was really a really hard choice for us, as you might have noticed. Um, let's see. The next. Uh, category is best documentary short film. Um, beautiful and engaging to watch, German Rosales, stage manager of the Municipal Theater in Chile, along with Pablo Nunez, theater designer, tell us about the importance of the technicians behind the scenes and the responsibility in producing the magic of the show. They're coming up. They're coming up. Two things. That's right. The whole thing. We'll show you two things. I'm going to introduce you later. Don't worry. My agent. And and the best documentary short film goes to Aquiltos. Director Gabriel Boucher. Boucher or from Chile, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, congratulations, this is a really wonderful film. We all loved it very much. And it's a unique look into, the, um, into a, one of the more traditional art forms we have, which is the theater. But it's a fantastic movie, please check it out everyone. Okay, so Johnny uh, Brower here, he's anxious to get to talk, so I'm gonna hurry up for, with this, through this next one. And I need to say something, I'm gonna, I don't know what's going to happen. No, it's fine. Just read the thing. So the next, uh, the next film uh, uh, award goes to best score. Um, this short narrative is about waiting for a visitor, a memory of a time gone by, of youth and love, set on a manor in Estonia, and with firm direction and evocative cinematography, the singular and brilliant performance by choreographer, dancer, actress, and ballet teacher Ule Toming is incredible. Every human being is beautiful and unique, like a snowflake. Working on it. 
No problem. Yeah. Oh, God. Right. I should have my glasses on so I look good like Johnny does. Uh, God. I'm up on the wrong one. Oh, God. Mm. It's all right. It's cool. This is what's, um, this is probably the first time anybody has seen a uh, Zoom cast where we've tried to play movies <laughs> one after another. I don't, I've never seen one of these before. We're trying something new. So everybody enjoy for a moment. It's the one, it's the, it's the first snowflake. Yeah, it's not, it's a, it, give me a sec. Here we go. Perfect. So the best score goes to Snowflake. Um, director Rauno Vatre from Estonia, along with um, I got a new. I have his name written down, but the who the I I I don't have his name with me. Renee, what's his name? What's the name of the of the Evo Lille? Evo Lille is this guy who did this. Sorry about that, Evo. I apologize. Yeah. I, uh, mm. I, I got an old version of my, um, my, my, set, my set list because Johnny printed it earlier today instead of just now. So it's okay. It's all right, Johnny. Okay. It's all mine. Who someone else? Okay, so, so now this is when I introduce Johnny Brower. Johnny Brower is a wonderful guy who is providing some gifts for some of our winners today. We're not going to, did you bring the record over? I did not, but they, we have them for you. Don't worry. Okay. So Johnny Brower is the, uh, is the licensed licenses a, an image by John michel Basquiat. And we have these killer records that are full size that are specially printed in their original covers. They've been selling at the Guggenheim. They've been selling at the Boston Art Museum, at the Ontario Art Museum. And um, there are some of our filmmakers who will be getting a copy of this, which if you look online, they're worth a lot of money. Johnny has generously donated them to our filmmakers uh, because we um, couldn't get out to the trophy store. And he's been very kind about this, and we think you'll love him. Considering what we're dealing with right now in terms of the need to address um, concerns in our country about racial injustice. Um, this Basquiat album felt like a perfect choice for folks. Um, they just did a show, there was just a show at the Guggenheim um, that was the first uh, show curated by a, an African American woman curator that uh, was quite controversial. It was about police brutality last, it was last November, right, Johnny? Last summer. Last summer. Johnny knows all about it. Um, so now we introduce Johnny. We have to switch seats, right? No, we don't. I'll, I'm just fine to be right I'm going to flip. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, okay, well, I, I'm fine. That's okay. In any event. Yeah, so you, what you're going to do, okay, what I, you're going to I, I, I can figure it out. What you're going to do is start reading by okay. here so we don't know who won until after okay. the paragraph. You see, I have these things here already printed out. I've got it. Okay, well, welcome and thank you so much for having me, Yuri. I appreciate being part of this. And uh, I will be clear that if you go to VeniceModernArt.com, you will see the record that you'll be getting, which is the 35th anniversary emerald green vinyl uh, to celebrate the reissue of the 1984 release. Uh, the cover is the same, of course, artwork by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Now, um, as far as this goes, we have Best Music Documentary called, well, I'm not going to say what it's called because we have to wait until we see who wins. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, we say never give up. Okay. We might as well tell you right now. I mean, the suspense is killing me, but I have to tell you. So Mikan had been making music as long as he could think. But in 214, that would be 2014, that typo there, uh, he had to flee Nigeria after his parents were murdered. He starts to work in Libya, but instead of making music, Mikan's life becomes a fight for his survival. In 2018, he decides to risk his life trying to get to Europe. He is saved from a sinking rubber boat by a German NGO. 
living in Malta now. He is singing and making music again. So best music documentary and the winner is Never Give Up, directed by Jonathan. Adela, can you increase the size of it? I'm only seeing it little. Ooh. Let's uh, let's back it up and do it again. All right, we're gonna try to do that. I'm not sure why it's only showing little, but we will give it another shot. Go under view. Under view. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit more complicated than you think, my friend. Okay, no worries. We're it's all new. Okay, Johnny, you're next. You're up again. This time, don't reveal who wins until after you say this paragraph. Okay, so Boreas, inspired by the work of Polish artist Sofia, I'm not even going to try to say it. All right. No, you mean I must have left it in the copy. All right, keep going. Yeah. Uh, so I'll do justice to her first name or his, uh, who led the decorative folk style of painting during the Polish interwar period. A procession of choreographed dances from the Polish dance theater creates a metaphor of life in the community under a mask of customs, traditions, and ritual, which hides a true or face underscored by a haunting rendition of traditional song. And the winner is... Wait, 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 wait till the graphic... Uh, I'm afraid there is no uh, there is no graphic to put up here. I don't believe. Uh, unless it's uh, or is it? It's Boria, Boria is number eight or something, isn't it? Yeah, there's no. I don't have a clip for that. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Okay, no wonder. No worries. Well, listen. We want to congratulate the folks. The winner is Boria, directed by Iwona Pasinska. I think I got that. Poland. Good job, you guys. And Great you, film. And you will be busting me at the post office trying to mail you a record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're, we've come to uh, the next award, which is the Humanitarian Award. Um, artist Jennifer Car Karate, I, mean, I got it right, Jennifer, mm -hmm. who is also Estonian. Okay, I want you to know that. There's a lot of Estonians winning tonight. You're I, you know, Do you have any connection to Estonia here? Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Damn. She I'm collaborates with nepotism. <laughs> she's collaborate with returning military veterans to produce narrative photographs that reveal how war experiences infiltrate their daily civilian lives. In an intricate and intimate process, Karate creates a photograph with former Army Specialist Lu Lucero Morales as she connects a harrowing incident in Najaf, Iraq, with the simple popping sound of a biscuit can while preparing breakfast for their children. She has PTSD, and she is recovering from it, largely because of what Jennifer has helped her do, I believe. The film is incredible. I literally cried when I watched it. Together, they create art that helps Morales begin to heal. Wow. Seen that? Gotta watch that tonight. I feel like these stories deserve our attention. If you're a citizen of this country, you should know what our country has asked of these veterans, and what happens to them when they come home and they try to become civilians again. And the humanity. Well, that graphic didn't turn out right. The humanitarian award goes to soldier stories from Iraq and Afghanistan by director Jennifer Carity of the United States. Congratulations, we're very happy to have that film in the festival and we wish, we wish, we hope everybody watches it. It's a very, very powerful film. Thank you. And so I'm about to unclick, uh, let's see, Christina von Hoffman. Uh, let's see, are you unmuted already? I believe you are. I am, yeah. So Christ, Christina Hoffman is an incredible person. We did a show called The History of Venice last year together at Beyond Baroque Literary Arts Center. 
and that has developed into a new project we'll be announcing shortly, hopefully. Mm -hmm. She is a major part of the Venice Heritage Museum and an activist, um, and a long time, all, all, to all of her life, a Venice resident who we are very happy to collaborate with. Christina, take it away. Thanks so much, Jerry. So now we are going to announce the Human Rights Prize short documentary. Uh, so using footage, she and her colleagues shot and collected from very recent protests across the country. Cy Lockett directs a powerful film that asks us all to account for our actions and beliefs <laughs> and to correct the sin of racial, racial subjugation in this country. much uh, deserved accolades, we are very pleased to present tonight's Human Rights Prize for Enough is Enough by director Cy Lockett. Congratulations, Cy. Well, um, I need to unclick. Cy, can you unmute yourself? And Christina, would you want to invite her onto the stage? Yeah, Cy, please come up. We're welcome to the stage here on Zoom. Wow. Hey, Cy, what's up? Cy, whoa. Great work, man. I'm so empowered by that. Thank you, guys. I, I have shared that with everybody I know on the entire planet. And uh, believe me, I've had a couple of people get back to me and say that's the most powerful thing I've seen in a long time. You know, just you this is such a brilliant work. So um, at, with that accolade, Cy, you can take it away. All righty. Um, thank you, guys. I am moved. And now for the best feature documentary. Oh, wait, wait, before that. According to the movement, is a cinematic journey depicting Terry through Niang, an important French choreographer and his workshops in Eastern Canada, specifically designed for non-dancers. Subdivided into 10 chapters, this feature film, a poetic and playful reflection on the beauty of everyday gestures that define us as living beings. Comprender y conocer cómo mis emociones influyen en el bienestar físico de mi cuerpo y cómo son de importantes para conocer su lenguaje es fundamental para entender que todas las dimensiones de mi ser están estrechamente interconectadas. And the best dance documentary, according to movement. Uh, you have one uh, director, Beatrice Mady. Best documentary, according to movement. Oh, a, ten, a story in 10 chapters, director Beatrice Media Villa. Very good. So there's one more next. And now for best okay. short documentary. In this expressionistic, harrowing, funny, and ultimately uplifting diary, Mariah Rose Marquez shares what it means to be uncomfortably comfortable. After spending most of her childhood sick and in a hospital, she moves away from home and adopts, adapts to life in a van in Venice, California, where she co-founded Girl Swirl, an all-women skateboarding collective dedicated to inclusion, philanthropy, and female empowerment. I packed my car and headed to the California coast with no home and no job, just me and my four wheels, and ended up in Venice Beach, California. I had no idea where my life was headed or what the hell I was doing. At age 11, I also picked up skateboarding not the best at the sport by any means. It became my security blanket through the years and a means of feeling empowered. The best first time director, Mariah Marquez for Uncomfortably Comfortable. 
Okay, I, I have to I have to add something here. Um, Venice Modern Art. We also have skate decks with the Basquiat image on them, and I would really like you to make sure we get you one and you get it to her. That's great. That's awesome. All right. So Johnny, since you are next, uh, you are here. I'm always next. I'm waiting for my my call. I'm waiting for my call. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. you got a little, you got a little wetness there. I yeah. need to tap that. Yeah, tap that. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, magical imperfection tells the inspirational story of world-renowned Canadian, excuse me, <clears throat> architect Raymond Moriyama. By the way, I am Canadian. Imprisoned in his own country during the 1940s because of his race, Ray found the strength to combat injustice by devoting his career to social justice and equality. This film challenges us to confront racism and inequality. At the age of 90, he is an inspirational voice in the world where injustice continues to exist. And this is the uh, Big Pieces Company Award. I'm not sure who Big Pieces are, but the director is Scott Callback. Now, I must tell you a very quick story, and I'm just going to have to go here with this. I know Scott Callback. I haven't seen him in eight years and I get an email from him and he goes oh my god I just saw your name as one of the presenters on the Fine Arts Film Festival and I have a film in that and so I, I'm sitting here a couple nights ago and I tell Yuri this and he goes we have a problem I go why he goes because he won the award and, and I don't know if you should give him the award because it, it will feel like nepotism because you're from Canada and you know the guy and now he got an award and I said forget about it Nobody knows that. So Scott, God bless you, man. I'm so happy for you. That's all I can say. Thank you for getting in touch with me. And when I get back to Toronto in this life or the next, I will look forward to seeing you again. My life has to mean something. Raymond Moriyama's chief concern is always for the individual and the particular community he's trying to serve which is why I know two of his projects look alike. Even today, I'm still searching, examining. I... Okay, go ahead. Say it, repeat it. So the winner is the Big Pieces Company Award Magical Imperfection, director Scott Kalbeck. By the way, his first directorial experience. Fantastic, so I'm about to introduce the technical wizard of this show. His oh name is, is Osiel Arefetov, and he's going to do dual duty now. Osiel is an old friend of mine. Um, he won Best Cinematography for a film he did called um, Savage Sleep, I believe that was the name of it, um, a couple of years ago in the Fine Arts Film Festival. He's been a good friend of mine. We've shown his work many times. We had one solo show of his work, and we're hoping to do another soon. He just won an, a major award for... A film fest, I mean, a photography fair put on by the British uh, Journal of Photography, the oldest journal of photography in the, in the world, and the city of Arles in France, which is, which is legendary in the art world. So, Osceola, take it away. All right. Uh, most important thing you should all know about me is I am also Canadian, as are all the finest people and the most modest. So, um, I am here to introduce the uh, Best Cinematography Award. This short narrative is about waiting for a visitor, a memory of a time gone by of youth and love. Set on a manor in Estonia and with film direction and evocative cinematography, the singular and brilliant performance by choreographer, dancer, actress, and ballet teacher, Ula Tume. Every human being is beautiful and unique like a snowflake. Uh, so Beth, go ahead, Osceola. What's it, what? Can you repeat the? Uh... Yes. So that award is for best cinematography, and uh, the director uh, is Rano Valtre from Estonia. And it's called Snowflake. Fantastic. Snowflake. 
So I'm going to introduce Tim Cogshell. Tim Cogshell is our uh, eminent film critic in Los Angeles. He does uh, shows for NPR on Friday afternoons on KPCC. Uh, at around noon, he also works for the BBC. He also does work for Cinema in Mind. Tim is a real uh, buddy of mine, along with Cy. Cy and Tim and I put together a film called Miss Daisy, and it's in post-production right now. And I think it's going to be about as prescient as a movie can get, besides the one Cy just did. And uh, uh, Cy was the lead actress in Miss Daisy, and Tim was the director, and I did sound and produced. And Neil Cohen, who's in the audience, is a producer too. And we're real proud of that film. But Tim, Tim is a solid human being, and he's presented awards for us before at the Fine Arts Film Festival. And so we're thankful that you're here, Tim, and you have the time to do it. Do you take it away, sir? Well, I'm not from Canada, so. <laughs> <laughs> About that, sadly not from Canada. St. Louis, baby. He's from St. Louis, though. Uh, uh, feature documentary in the Black Series, shot on location in Singapore, Japan, London, Paris, New York, Berlin, and Amsterdam. Artist and filmmaker Ang Su Kun elicits candid conversations with her peers, examines the economic issues of contemporary artists, and explodes the popular idea of the impoverished artist. I'm so glad that I didn't begin my professional career as an artist in the age of social media. You know, you do all that stuff, whatever it is, Facebook, Instagram, just another way to put your constructed personality out. And then you realize, like, what are you doing with all that? And all that takes up so much mental space. Outstanding. Uh, so can you repeat the, uh, the uh, headline, Best Documentary Feature, Living for Art, Tim? Best Documentary Feature, Living for Art, and the Black Series. Outstanding, outstanding. Ang So Kun. Fantastic. All right, one more. You got one more up there. Yes, yes, yes. This story is a reimagining of life, of the life, of the life drawing class, a French artist in living uh, in a maroon rapa. I'm not sure if that's exactly the way you say it, but it's a rural town north of Melbourne in Australia in 1920. The small town in trauma after the terrible Great War finds a healing of sorts when a stranger arrives with the aim to introduce them to art. Fat ghost. <laughs> Call that a figure. <laughs> Wouldn't keep a man warm with that. Not enough pork. <laughs> Come on, sir, do you find so to meat? Then you're a fine lump of lard. Would you mind please keeping your thoughts to yourself? Yes, don't be so crude and let's get on with this. We haven't got all day. <laughs> and so the best narrative feature goes to Life Class, 1920 director Tom Cowan of Australia. Outstanding. Yes, thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. I'm a little ahead of you guys. I apologize. I'm realizing. And homage right. to rab rabbit proof fence, by the way. Thank you very I'll much, sir. Go back to Australia. So there you go. The final. Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for coming today. We have one more award, which I'm very proud to deliver. What we're going to do is when the award is done, uh, I'm going to talk a teeny bit about a couple of more things, and then we'll be out. So this has been a quick little event. We really appreciate everybody showing up. We can't thank you enough for making art, making films, and, um, and joining us here on a Saturday night. Um, so We need to make sure we have mailing addresses for everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, my data manager is here. Okay. He's telling me that. Okay. Yeah, well, we, no problem. Know, I don't want to commit to send somebody something and not have their address. Okay, you got it. Gonna right. So, uh, the next film is um, for Best Director. Uh, it's an experimental art film that presents in an unconventional and emotional way the creative universe of one of the most iconic artists of our century. He returns to the emblematic city of Rome for a timeless conversation about art presenting an astonishing exhibit of his latest work, 
an intimate and shocking dialogue between the terror and the sublime. The narration investigates, confronts, and explodes the conditions of matter, the dynamics of perfection, and the power of ritual. By the way, you, you described him as one of the most iconic artists of our but century. I'm not going to say but his name. you did not say not, his name. I'm not saying his name. You're not saying his name. Not yet. You have to say his name. Not yet. All right. Other qualities, other qualities. It um, is elusive. An object in a space is often intentionally or unintentionally theatrical. It has a sense of acting out its position, its place, unavoidable. And the best director is for the film Under the Skin by director Martina Margot Cozy from Italy. And we want to send a shout out to the folks in Italy who have been going through so much stuff Everybody has all over the world, but you folks in Italy have had it real bad. And uh, I, uh, I really love this film, and thank you for bringing it to us. So who's one of the most iconic artists of our century? Oh, okay, it's uh, Anish Kapoor. Exactly, it's Under the thank Skin you. in conversation Damn. with Anish Kapoor. Whoa, yes, had to John. get that out. Um, yes. Yuri, can you hear me? Uh, Yuri, this is Christy. Yeah. Yeah, Christy, go ahead. I just want to break in real quick before you um, do your final words. Um, when you, um, when we saw the video for the exper best experimental film, I don't believe we mentioned the director's name and the title of the film. So I just wanted to bring that up. That was uh, the Stream X, oh. and the director is Hiroyo Sakurai from Japan. Yeah, that was a great film. From Japan, we love the movie, and I think. Hi. Getting ready to our flow, and I'm not sure we mentioned his name, but I wanted to make sure that got in there. Christy. Thank you so much, Haroya. Thank you. Okay. So thanks for jumping in, Christy. That's much needed. And also, thanks to my friends, Steph and Mace, up in Lake County for um, alerting me to that movie uh, two or three days ago. I hadn't seen it and really loved it. Um, Steph and Mace are very old friends of mine. And I have to say that if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be uh, doing this with you guys today. They're that good of friends. So, um, so basically, I, now it's time for a few thank yous. Um, and then we're gonna do a little outro that has our sponsors listed on there. Please um, you know, help them. But one of our main sponsors over the years has been uh, Flake. Um, they're a Venice uh, eatery down the street from me on the corner of Rennie and and, and Rose uh, Page runs it, and it's a fantastic place. If you ever come to Venice, give it a try. I have excellent breakfasts. Um, one of our most important partners in this project is Christy Addis Gutierrez, who just uh, spoke up. If it wasn't for her, this entire thing would have never happened. I can tell you that from, from the hard work she's put in, she's put in as much work or more than any of the rest of us. And then I want to thank um, Jim Kwan for um, providing us with expertise when it comes to Vimeo. And uh, we have a distribution company together, Vika Films, a new company we formed in November, has a distribution company with the Big Pieces Company, in which all of the official selections in each of our festivals for the last seven years are offered a distribution deal. Those deals have gone out um, previous to the official selections from this festival already. If you don't have distribution yet, we can offer you a deal that's very, very convenient for filmmakers and much, much better than most distributors will ever give you. We can promise you that because we're filmmakers. I wanted to say that. I also want to say, thank my partner Johnny here because he provides, an ex, um, he's my neighbor, my buddy. He lives across the street. We have, to, we have figured out how to social distance the way we're doing it now. So don't worry, we, you know, we're fine. Um, we've, um, but he has provided some incredible inspiration, some good laughs today, and some um, uh, wonderful prizes for our filmmakers. So go, to, go check those out like he described. And you gave me enough is enough, which is like the gift of like, yeah, when last we watched that, whatever, when we me. watched that last night, yeah, that's the most powerful yeah. thing. I'm I'm operating on that right yeah. now. So there you go. So in the meantime, um, 
I guess Osceola, I also have to thank Osceola because he came to me last night when I was freaking out about this whole thing. And I was like, how am I going to do all this stuff? And he goes, dude, I'll just, if you get the videos done, I'll put them up there for you. And you did a great job, Osceola. I'm totally stoked that this even worked. Okay. So let's give ourselves a hand for all that, everybody. We did that. And now, um, we are taking it away with the outro. Thank you all for coming. When the video ends, we're done. This will, this will all be this will all be on the Venice Institute of Contemporary Arts website, probably in the morning to watch, or maybe later tonight. We'll probably have to trim the front where we were all getting ready, but um, you can go to veniceica.org and um, uh, click on the viewing room and check it out in a little while if you didn't make the screening. And uh, if you feel like you want to quote anybody, any of us on this for your publicity, if you're a filmmaker or whatever, feel free. Um, and anything we can do to help you complete your films and make your films and enjoy the, the art world that we're in, uh, we'll help you do it. Um, so and I would like to host a little get together at my place in Venice for anyone that can make it who's here online now or any of the Venetians. And we will... Uh, do that in the next week or so because I'm ready to like you. Let's talk. Yeah, and we're gonna we'll wear, we'll wear masks wear, or stay apart from each other because we're not doing this without understanding that issue. Absolutely. Um, and also one more one last thing before you roll the tape: Black Lives Matter. Silence is violence. All right, we're out. Uh, I wanted to just say thank you to Yuri for creating this uh, excellent festival just in a few short years. It's really become uh, quite a thing here in Los Angeles. I'm sure you have a Facebook page and an Instagram that you want people to follow. Is that uh, Venice you can go to For Instagram, you can go to Venice ICA or you can go to Fine Arts Film Festival. And um, Facebook pages are both the same names. And if you want to see your prize, go to VeniceModernArt.com. You had to do that. You get yours one in last. Roll the tape. <laughs> no sound, Oz. That's okay. Did I not share? Did I share my whole screen by accident? No, it's okay. Yeah, you did, but it's all right. You want to show that one last time for your sponsors and friends? Yeah, why not? Let's let's at least as long as there's music to it. It's, it's all right. Yeah, let me just uh, let me try to get this to work a little bit better this time. Here we go. This is called publishing. This is called um, this is called publishing 101. Film publishing 101. No sound, but that's okay. It's all right. Oh, there you go. Good job. You clo You turned it off before the sponsor showed up. Oh! All right, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, the yeah. last half. Yeah, yeah, you got it, I got it, I got also, it. Also, right. one other thing, um, Wazim Marzuki from a Syrian artist who lives in North Hollywood did the trailer, and he did our last trailer, too. He's a killer artist. We have his work up on the wall. Come and look at it in the house. Is that what there you need we are. To There's our sponsors. Okay, we're done. Thank Everybody you. Have Everybody have a wonderful day. And go, go enjoy yourselves and get out to the beach. It's not that dangerous to go to the beach. Just go to the beach and wear your mask. Everybody have a wonderful night.